Hello, everyone. Uh, this is the part two of uh, this associate arrays. In part one, we have discussed uh, the syntax of this associate array, how we declare. Uh, and we took up this example. Let us recap once in the uh, part one what we have done. Array uh, underscore e num. If you see here, uh, that is a, a variable name of that associative array. And uh, index, if you see, index is this tr underscore type. This uh, data type it is. And uh, if you see array underscore int, it is of this data type, int data type. And we have discussed uh, like how this is uh, working and we have simulated as well. And uh, we also have discussed for each how it is uh, work, uh, I mean, how it works. Uh, uh, it it trades through this, uh, what we call uh, here index values here. So like in this case, if you see here, five, uh, 10, seven, it, uh, it trades through ascending order, like, five and then seven then ten like that in case of enumerated data type here it iterates through uh here also in ascending order how means this uh uh variable names that we are seeing here enumerated uh, types here like trans receive repeater implicitly compiler what it does is uh it it uh, assigns to the first uh, uh, variable implicitly zero to the next uh, one to the next two like that if we give explicitly then that is also possible like uh, trans equal to five if you give then automatically the next will be six and then this will be seven like that so this uh, uh, about this associative array we have discussed in the uh, video one now in this video two and uh, possibly this is the end of this uh, discussion associative array here what we are going to discuss is this associative array methods these methods uh, you can call them as functions as well as you see here this is the function everywhere mentioned function and uh, there are way, uh, you know, if you can start counting from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this one is nine. Total nine methods are there here. Among these nine methods, size and num, they will do the same activity, like how many um, entries are there, how many, uh, you know, index uh, uh, indexes are there. Uh, that count is given by this. Either you use size or num. Both will return the the size of the array. And uh, coming to this exists, if you mention here index, uh, some index, then whether that index exists in that uh, given array or not, that that is what it is going to, uh, you know, uh, written. It, if it is existing, it will return true like that. And uh, if you give here this first and the index value, uh, whatever the value is there at this given uh, index, uh, you know, I mean, uh, this value will be assigned with the first index. Uh, first index this value this value is a let's say it's a variable this value what is this value is a variable this variable will get an assignment with a first index value so like that this last if we use this variable will get a index of the last index value of the la i mean last index value so we'll see all of these with examples. If if I keep discussing here theory, then uh, it, it is not possible to understand anything. So let's discuss everything 
through this example. So if you see this associative array methods here, we have at line number two, uh, there is a, a variable called array and uh, index if you see it is in int type. So what we have done here is line number seven through line number 12. We have us we have initial initialized. I mean we are creating the space here. Like let's uh, uh I mean see this one. This is five index five is uh, uh been created and uh, th that is a getting a value assignment uh, with the two. This location will get a assignment. What is that value? Value is two, and this array of ten. In between, we are not, uh, you know, we don't have like an array of six. It is not necessary that we have to follow the order here. In any order, depending upon the requirement or whatever the necessity, so uh, we can keep creating like that spaces and whatever the value that we want to assign, that we can do. So coming to the line number 15, you see for each loop here, for each. As discussed in video one, uh, what it does is for each, it iterates through the index values, right? I, this I variable explicitly, we don't need to declare here anywhere. Implicitly for each, what it does is to this I variable, these index variables will be like, it is iterating through uh, this index variables in ascending order. Like first it will go to the five, and then if you see next value is seven, then next is nine, and then next is 10, and then 13, then 20, in that order. So the values will be displayed here. Once all uh, index uh, values been, uh, you know, iterated, already completed, then it will come out of the loop. Then here at this line number 18, we are just making use of this dot size. See how we use the function here. All these functions are used with a dot. Like first we have to keep uh, the array variable name, then dot, and then this function. Like pre, P, R, E, V. It is a previous for previous value of the index. Next is a keyword. Last is the keyword. First is the keyword. Exists is the keyword. Num size. These are the keywords here. And uh, here next is the keyword. Delete. This is the keyword. So like that. So here if you see what we have done here is. Uh, we have dot size. And then. Uh, Just a minute, I just have to move this side uh, here. Array dot num. So array dot num, if you see the, this two, by the way, these two are, are uh, you know, uh, doing the same function here. Either you use dot size or dot num. They return the number of, uh, you know, here spaces are, that are there here. Like if you see this array, how many uh, spaces we have created? Total six we have created, right? Either you use dot size, I mean dot size or dot num, both will do the same job that we will see in the simulation result. Now coming to the dot exists. This dot exists, what is happening here? We have mentioned one index uh, value here inside this uh, dot exists within the parenthesis, this seven is an index uh, value. Is that existing? That's what the job of this function, the dot exist function is. Is that existing? So if you see here, what we have in, uh, like initialized here, here there is a uh, seven index value, seven existing. Yes, it is existing. If it is existing, then what it does, this exists function, it returns one, that is true. So if true, then this will be uh, displayed. Now, if it is false, then else the statement will be executed. 
So here, see the this example. Uh, array dot exist eight is this existing in the uh, you know array this eight index value. If you see here, there is no eight, then it is false, right? It will return zero. That is false. So this will not be treated. This display else this this statement else statement will be treated this will be displayed now array dot first so as i said this index is a variable this index this index is a variable here this variable will get a assignment with a value of the first index whatever the first index value is there now that value will be assigned to this index variable what I mean is, if you see here, this phi in ascending order, if you scan here, the phi is the first one, right? So this is the very first. So this value phi will be assigned to this index variable. And then coming to this one, last means the last index value will be assigned to this index. Here, if you see, don't think that this is the last. As I said, in ascending order, it is going to treat. So in ascending order, if it is going to treat, then what will be the last here? 20 will be the last, right? So this 20 is the index value. That index value will be assigned to this, this variable. You can have instead of index anything here. Because this index is basically here, if you see in the declaration, it is of int type. Here you can have anything. A, B, C also you can keep. If you keep A, B, C, A, B, C together, it's one variable. A, B, C is one variable. So you can put here inside here, A, B, C. Like that. Now, what uh, you are doing here is, you are assigning 9 to the variable, this index variable and you are checking out what is the previous index i mean pre uh, previous to this nine if nine is existing in your uh, array previous to this nine whatever the index value is there that value will be assigned to this index variable like in this case if you see here and uh, if you keep them in ascending order previous to nine will be this seven previous to nine will be this seven so what happens here seven will be printed out here and here again what we are doing index is assigned with the 10 we are asking the compiler is there a next uh, next what is next to this index value 10 i mean in the index indexes here if there is a index existing after 10 that will be assigned to this index variable so what is existing here after 10 after 10 13 in ascending order if you arrange them after 10 13 will come so what we get here is uh, uh, where is that here 13 we will be getting now, if you see this one, delete, delete uh, inside the parenthesis, if we keep seven, what is the meaning of this? Yes, uh, delete the index seven, index seven, index seven means here, this is the index, seven. delete this. If you delete this index, then it means the contents also you are removing. It is not that just this index being removed. Is this complete thing is removed? So if you remove complete thing, what left only upper two that you see here index by 10 and bottom this in 9, uh, 20, 13, right? So after deleting this index 7, if you uh, if you print here using for each, then what we're supposed to be getting is 5 and then 9 then 10 then 13 then 20 this time 7 will not be coming because we have delayed 
deleted that index. Now, if you come to this one, that is we are printing here. And if you delete, if you use a delete function, and in, inside the parenthesis, if you don't use anything, meaning is remove all indexes or indices. So remove all indexes. Uh, that is, you are removing all of these indexes. So if you remove all of them, then your array is not going to have anything. It is going to have zero space, right? No space. So if you print out the size of this array, it, it will be returning zero. So let's copy this code. Let's copy this code and uh, go to PDA Playground. Uh, you have to log in here. Uh, and then here I'm pasting it, control V. And then after pasting, you can see that the same code that is what I have discussed. Uh, and then here I have to set the uh, simulator that is Aldec Rivera Pro. Aldec Rivera Pro. Okay. So now let's run this one. Let's run this one. If you run the results, if you see, see initially what I said, uh, this for each, this will be going to print out what whatever this we have initialized, but in ascending order. So that's what we see here in ascending order. They are like five, ten, seven in some uh different orders they are right but here if you see 5 11 9 10 13 20 so like that ascending order next is array size and array num as i said both will be doing the same job so you can see here like size also returning six and that is uh, num also returning six next is is this existing Yes, 7 is existing, right? If it is existing, then this will be displayed. So, if you see here, an element exists at the index 7. That's what displayed. Now, if you come to this one, uh, array uh, dot exists 8, because 8 is not there here. If you see index value 8 is not there. So it is going to return zero. It means it is false. False means else statement will be executed. That is, uh, an element doesn't exist at index eight. Now, uh, first index here. So as I said, this uh, function is going to return the value of the first index to this index variable. So what is the value here that we have? Five we have, right? So first index of array will be 5. First index of array will be 5. Next is last index. Last index, if you see what is the last index, 20 is the last index. So that is what being printed. Next, what we are doing, we are assigning a value to this index variable and trying to get the previous to that index value. This dot prev -E previous uh, index value it will return to this index variable previous to this nine what is the seven is there so what we supposed to be getting here previous index of nine it must be seven previous previous index of nine is seven then what we are doing uh, then we are assigning 10 to this index and asking the compiler what is next to this index. Index uh, variable now got 10, right? So in our assignment here, if you see, in our assignment here, after 10, we have 13. So it means what next index of 10 will be 13. So that we must see. Next index of 10 is 13. Now, 
we are deleting here if you see now this one delete index seven so if you have if, if we delete index seven now you can see without index seven we got the print here because of the for uh, each that we are using after deleting we are using again to print the for each this this for each so delete inside the parenthesis if we keep some value that is index value so that index complete along with the storage it will be de deleted so that's why you will see here there is no index seven array of seven you will not see now finally what we are doing array dot delete this function what it does is inside the parenthesis if you do not keep the index value it considers all of the indexes to be deleted so if you delete all of the indexes then what will be the size of that array it's a zero right so this is going to return zero so let us see that one here size equal to zero so that's what here um, uh, about uh, about this uh, associative array method hope this is clear uh, if you have any doubts you can post them in comment section but uh, as uh, uh, initially i said this is a, this possibly may be the end of the associative array but it is not why because we ha also had to discuss something about uh, this uh, you know index type here so what types we have to we can here and uh, what care needs to be taken uh, that also we have to discuss here so that is again in uh, requires uh, another uh, recording so we'll do it in a next uh, i mean uh, part three of this associated area possibly that part three may be the end of the uh, this associated area discussion all right so kindly post if you have any doubts in comment section yeah thank you